Okay, now the thing you're going to really enjoy about this program is how easy it is to set up and use. Once you've installed the program, this is the load screen that you'll see. There's only a few things to set up to get it going. Down the bottom here you can see project destination folder. This is simply the temporary folder that's used to store your file before the program burns it to DVD. There's a browse button here, you can easily go in and set up that folder. If we go into project settings up the top here, give it the basics here, target size, normally leave that at 4.3, encoder priority, leave that on normal, thread count 1, that's basically it. Go into video settings, if you're in Australia obviously you'd be set to PAL, if you're in the States you'd go to NTSC, encoding profile, leave that on best, target byte trait, auto fit, that's all you need to do there, go into burning, tick this box here, burn project to disk, disk label, you can give it a title if you want, drive, this is simply picking the drive that you're going to use on your computer, the DVD drive you're going to use to burn your file, that's it, you're set up, you're ready to rock and roll, all you need to do now is Tick accept and you don't have to go through that procedure again. That will keep those settings as your default settings. Okay, now we need to go to add a title. We go to add title, go onto my folder here, my movies, click on my file here, Treasure Island, double click that. That's now loading the program, loading the file into the program. We'll see it pop up here in just a sec. Okay, there we go. Now all we have to do is make sure that we have a blank DVD in the DVD drive that we're burning to. And then click Create DVD. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yes destination folder already exists, all of its contents will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. That's it, the program starts up. You can see there's a box here, shut down when completed. You can tick that if you want. It will take approximately an hour to an hour and a half to burn a DVD. I normally do it when I'm going to bed at night, let it run overnight. So if I tick that box there, come out in the morning, the DVD has been burnt and the computer has shut down. So there you go. What are you waiting for? Grab your copy now while it's out at the special reduced price.